Hey, what's up, people on the Raspberry? To play some more uh, Wolf Among Us where we left off. I was just coming into the business office, and there's Bluebeard and Mr. Toad. Everybody seems to be mad, so let's see what's up. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the Crooked Man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door, once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? <laughs> I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. I found it in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she has some. Uh, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Hey, I tried to give you money back at the Lucky Pawn, but you wouldn't take it. I was just being polite. Ever heard of it? That wouldn't have covered the cab ride home, let alone a glamour. Please, I'm not looking for any more than to cover the big ticket damages. Not a cent more. I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I need it, Big B. I didn't throw myself through your wall. I'll ask Woody if you want payback. You good for nothing piece of... The woodsman is broke. You saw the way he was living. Yeah, in your building. You know what I mean. <sighs> Please, I need the money for glamours, Bigby. That's all. This isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. Colin isn't your concern. You should worry about your own fucking situation, Toad. Rotten bastard. Oh, now, now, it came out wrong. 
if you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Please, Sharon, don't take TJ from the only home he knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right. Burdening the weakest. Nah, he's going to the farm. He's not gonna pick up glamour from the word go. I have no choice. You and TJ are going to the farm. There's a truck leaving tomorrow. I think you better go break it to your boy. Big B. Look, the damages might be a valid complaint, but that's a separate deal. Waylon Smith can see to that at the farm. You're a real friend of the people, Sheriff. Dude, don't be a fucking what a douche. Truck a shite. Government by the fables for the fables, my ass. I've been asking you to get climbers for the past Obey. like you want to week. Talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Okay. Good. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Uh-oh. just happened we pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at bloody mary's reflection oh her that explains the sting i'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings so let's not do that again okay looks like we'll have to track him down later you're right we need to focus on the immediate threat and that's the crooked man bigby we don't have a lot of time. <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? <laughs> I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door. It moves. what I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. <sighs> uh, 
Let's go check out on the crew, kid man. Yeah, another fucking laggy saving thing. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. You know, I kinda thought the crooked man would have bigger guards. Trolls, ogres. I'm almost insulted he doesn't. Maybe he just wants to talk. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave? I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're part of this just like anyone else a lot of us depend on him some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office but he's there we need you but we need him too what we don't need is a war hey sheriff hold up i gotta go in with you can't you just wait up sheriff thanks <laughs> What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Tell me who the fuck is I back there. You. I, the I don't exactly I know. I, I just mind the door. You needn't worry. The boss is he there. Around. I know that much. I like cream before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Holy shit! I was wondering when you'd turn up. I'm so sorry, sir. I had no it's idea right, he would... Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Hello everyone. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? 
we have a great deal to discuss. Next time with the Wolf Among Us. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. You mean 49% of players had it Colin should not go to the farm. Oh, it was pretty much 50-50, well. You and 60% of players did not try to remove the revenue. Okay. You and 51% of players went to the lucky pond first. You and 22% of players decided sh told should go to the farm. Wow. As if people get like, I don't know, man. How do you respond to crooked man? You and 29% lit a cigarette. Yeah. As if people just believed him and gave him cash or whatever. I don't I don't get it, man. I mean, I'm asking him to get glamour all fucking week. And obviously he has enough money since he has a fucking car, although we trashed it, but, you know. We gave, like, he had money to buy a car. Obviously he has enough money to buy fucking glamour. Although it's never really ex expressed how much it is, but still, you would expect he has enough. And he just doesn't want to because he's a cheap-ass little bitch. Anyway, uh, that was it for episode 4 of The Wolf Among Us. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe to be part of the people. See you.